Hey guys, so this is now the official final version of Android Oreo Auction OS 5 for the OnePlus 5T. So we're going to be going over the new features of that and also we have a comparison versus the OnePlus 5. So we're going to get to new features in a second, but first let's do a quick speed test comparison between the 5T and N7 Nougat. And I filmed that before upgrading using the Galaxy Note 8, the 5 on Android Oreo and the 5T on Android Oreo. Now both of these phones are extremely fast booting up, some of the fastest on the market. And they actually have the same exact specs, Snapdragon 35, 8GB of RAM, but we're going to see here the optimizations with Oreo versus Nougat. So almost identical booting up, and definitely faster than Nougat. So next we have a speed test between the 5 and the 5T, and both of them are on Android 8 Oreo. As you guys see, everything's closed out on both. First up, we have NBC. Extremely quick on both, a bit faster on the 5T. Spotify. Once again, narrow margin there for the 5T. You do. Extremely close there. eBay. Once again, very, very close. I funny. <laughs> yeah, almost neck and neck there. Amazon. That one going to the five. Photos. Both of them are so fast, guys, it's extremely hard to tell. Don't run until. Now the OnePlus phones, they are lacking in some areas like the camera, for example, uh, lack of waterproofing, but just in terms of speed, guys, definitely the best out there. I think they're tied for some phones like the uh, Sony Xperia Xe Premium, but uh, still pretty amazing speed on them. That one is slight advantage for the 5T. Super Mario Run. Five T. Subway Surfers. Five. And this last one should be the five T, just based on the practice test I did. And then after this, we'll do multitasking and look at. Uh, we'll do the cameras. Oh wow, interesting. This one's the five. Was not expecting that. Taking a look at the to do. So actually guys, I'm gonna go ahead and rerun this later, but as you see the scores are pretty similar. We'll go ahead and do it at the end of the video. Camera very, very close. And Chrome. <laughs> yeah, too close to call there. So the apps, the games, pretty split, really not a big difference between both these phones. Uh, let's go and check out the multitasking. Once again, both these phones, 8 gigabytes of RAM on them. And NBC is still refreshing on both, but we'll go over to the next app. That one does auto refresh. Spotify, extremely close there. You do. Same thing. eBay. Yeah, so none of these restarting really excellent signs here. Now, I am going to have to make this test a lot harder this year when the new phones come out. Because as you guys can tell, these are, I mean, you can't do any better than this. You literally cannot. This is the absolute best that you can do. But let's go and see if they restart any of the games. Dump run 2. Excellent. Super Mario Run. Excellent. So most phones definitely will restart all these games and even most of the apps as well. Subway Surfers. Asphalt 8, now this app I have been having some problems with, but a slight advance for the 5T. So nice to see that one working. And 
material. Camera. So maybe the uh, 5T about one millisecond faster than the 5, but obviously extremely, extremely close between both of them. So I'm filming this part a few hours later, I went ahead and re-ran in to the benchmark on both. And as you guys see, a higher score on the 5T, 192,000 versus 190. And let's also do a quick comparison of the camera speed and the pigment scanner. And gonna bring in Yarn Yoshi for this. So extremely close on both. I think it's basically identical. Yeah, it's identical for both. And look at the pigment scanner. And one thing I really like about the 5 is the pigment scanner is right here on the front. While with the 5T you do have smaller bezels, but that means the pigment scanner is over here on the back. So insanely fast on both and basically identical. Now I don't think that's really necessary to use the face scan for the 5 because the premium scan is right here on the front. But I will say I do prefer the face scan on the 5T. On the 5 you have to swipe up like this while looking at it. Should we do that one more time? So yeah, definitely nowhere near as efficient. Now for the new features. So first up, the camera UI is a bit different here. So for example, if you want to access slow motion, swipe like this to the left. And if you use Shot by One Plus, you can also upload directly from this to that. But personally, I don't use that. There's also a lot more autofill options, so just as long as you sign into your Google account on your Android, uh, and you have, let's say if you have your address saved, you have personal passwords, things like that, then you will be able to access them through a lot of apps, and also websites as well. And a quick look at the Android 8 Oreo Easter Egg. I think most of you guys have seen it, but it is an octopus over octopus. There's also smart text selection, so for example, if someone sends you an address like this, double tap on it and you guys see there's a suggestion there for maps. So picture in picture mode is something else that's new to Android Oreo in general. And it's kind of like split screen, but a bit more advanced than that. So I have a YouTube, uh, YouTube video playing here. And I'm gonna press the home button. So as you guys see, I now have the picture right here. I can move it wherever I want. Press on once to expand it, you can make it full screen again, you can pause it. And swipe to the bottom to dismiss it. Now if you go back into Chrome, as you guys see, it's still playing here. So this also works for some other apps, including Google Maps. Uh, also YouTube, if you have YouTube Red, so you have to be subscribed for that. But personally guys, I don't really use it that much. I know some people do, but I just find it easier to use the split screen rather than this. Another new feature is notification dots. And as you guys see, we have notification dot in the top right corner for NBC. And actually a bit hard to see, so it's going to go into the app drawer here. But that should be easier to make out right there. Top right corner is a dot for NBC. And if you hold down it, you long press on it, you guys see we have notification right there. And some options as well. There's also a bunch of new emojis and also slightly different designs for them. The quick settings are also slightly different. So you guys see if we swipe down once in the corner here, there's a settings button. Oops. Settings button. So you don't need to swipe down twice for that. Now there's also an additional column here on the right side for the quick settings. So look at any 7 new here on the left side. Actually, let me just fast forward. As you guys see right there. So one additional column also go like this. You now have an option to snooze a notification. 
There's also other fixes, bug fixes, optimizations, and minor updates to some apps, including the clock and the calculator. So honestly guys, the Oreo update is not extremely exciting across any of the phones. Not a huge update, but I will say at least for the 5T, definitely is faster. Uh, definitely the multitasking that definitely improved the boot up time. I think the app's about the same, but at least I did see some improvements there. So thanks everyone for watching. Let me know in the comment section below if I missed anything. Now if you liked the video and want to see more, you can press the button mail there. Or you can press it in the corners for another video right now. And as always, thank you for watching.